Let's take a look at a couple of problems that involve what we've just learned. Consider this one of Winnie Weightlifter. Number one, Winnie Weightlifter holds a 900 kilogram barbell overhead. A. What force does she exert on the barbell in this stationary position? The answer is simple. We show the forces that act on the barbell and conclude her upward force is equal in magnitude to the weight of the barbell. We express G as 10 newtons per kilogram. So it turns out the barbell has a weight of 9,000 newtons. Part B. Suppose Winnie does the same beneath the surface of water in her community swimming pool. How much force does she then exert to hold the barbell stationary? Let's begin by making a force vector diagram. Aha! Can you see that the force required is less? That's because buoyancy lightens her load. We'll assume she can hold her breath for a sufficient time. We see that the upward force plus the buoyant force equals the barbell's weight, mg, which we have found to be 9,000 newtons, which means that the force she exerts is F is 9,000 newtons minus the buoyant force. So we've got to find the buoyant force that acts on the submerged barbell. BF, buoyant force, is equal to the weight of water displaced by the barbell, which equals mg, mass of the water, times g. From density equals mass per volume, BF then equals density times volume for water times G. Note that the volume of water displaced equals the volume of the iron barbell. Let's get that volume from the density of iron. Substituting M iron over rho iron for the volume of water, We now show the BF to be equal to the ratio of the densities times the weight of iron. And we express the density of water as 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. And the density of iron is 7,800 kilograms per meter cubed. And the buoyant force is 1,154 newtons, which means the force Winnie exerts is less than the previous 9,000 newtons and is 7,846 newtons. Problem solved. When he holds barbell overhead with only 7,846 newtons of force for as long as she can hold her breath. Let's try this problem. Number two. A pie pan with negligible mass floats on water in a small tank. When a piece of iron of mass one kilogram and density 7,800 kilograms per meter cubed is placed in the pan, still floating, the water level rises. A. What weight of water rises? The answer is given by Archimedes' principle. The weight of water that rises, that is, displaced, is equal to the weight of the piece of iron. So, mg equals 1 kilogram times 10 newtons per kilogram equal 10 newtons. Part B. What volume of water rises? Let's focus on what we're looking for. V sub W equals what? From rho sub W equals M sub W over V sub W, we see that the volume of water equals the mass of the water divided by its density. From part A, the weight of water displaced is equal to the weight of the iron, or equivalently, the mass of water displaced is equal to the mass of the iron. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, so Volume of the water equals 10 to the minus third meters cubed, which turns out to be one liter. Part C. What volume of water is displaced if the iron is instead at the bottom of the tank? Again, we focus on what we're looking for. V sub water equals what? Well, the volume of water displaced is the same as the volume of the iron. No need to even think of buoyancy here except to say it's less than the weight of iron. We're not told iron's volume, but we know its mass and density. So the volume of water displaced equals the volume of the piece of iron. Equals 1 kilogram over 7,800 kilograms per meter cubed. Equals 1.3 times 10 to the minus fourth meters cubed. And we have the solution.
The volume of the iron and water displaced is less than the size of a baseball. In problems involving water displacement, we must be comfortable with the concepts of weight, mass, volume, and density. Let me leave you with a question. Consider the piece of iron toppling from the pan where it sinks to the bottom. What happens to the water level at the side of the tank? Does it rise, fall, or remain unchanged? Think about that. Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.